you see uh, we, uh, there are few examples which are given it i have taken one example from the textbook have is have you seen a dog sniffing here and there what do you think it is trying to smell this is a common thing in rural areas and even in cities also dogs mark out their own areas on the road they can make out uh, if another dog has come into their area by the smell of its urine or potty or latrine uh, this is a simple example even we have we see things but we do not generally notice what it is uh, uh, such examples have to be given uh, uh, which we uh, see across uh, some important aspects uh, of the relationship between crp uh, crcd CRP is culturally responsive pedagogy. CRCD is culturally response curriculum development. <laughs> See, uh, if we think of science, our mind will get uh, um, uh, accustomed to science field. If we think of medicine, we, uh, then we uh, start understanding various medical concepts and. now you know the basic entity what nation is made up of is the humanity of the people who are residing in this uh, nation and if you have got uh, uh, different cultures of different communities and it is essential for us as teachers to understand cultures of each other so cultural awareness and cultural understanding will happen if you become culturally responsive uh when if uh, britishers wanted to uh, rule india they tried to understand britishers what uh, indians what they can do so th- they thought that we want everything has to be uh, has to occur in english the, so they thought that uh, indians uh, can, can be taught at least uh, uh, so that they will be able to read and write english and help us in day to day administrations so they wanted indians Uh, uh uh indians by blood and uh, westerners by thought they wanted to uh, make and uh, for that they started teaching uh, english but what mistake they did is uh the thought was also not good uh, not appreciable but the mistake uh, here was they started teaching a for apple which was common in uh, england new student when apple fall is on his head uh, a was apple was common in western countries rather than india but a for apple uh, even our villagers or even small town people could not uh, connect so understanding to make the understanding happen learning happen the curriculum should be designed in such a way that it should address to locality but now you see Uh, there are different formats of english there is us english there is uk english there is indian english also whatever we speak we have got our own style of speaking and that is uh, accepted world over as indian kind, uh, uh, english and we are n- not uh, teaching uh, any more a for apple but apple has become very common Uh, in all uh, cities and all uh, rural areas also uh, the teaching has to be uh, done uh, according to the local needs and we have to incorporate diverse perspectives that is why you see the language which incorporates diverse perspectives becomes very common language there in india persian was the language of elite since it was the language of elite uh uh long ago even uh pre medieval period and medieval period and after that also but language spoken by masses was not persian not uh, sanskrit they were de- speaking different language so what we call that urdu hindi so they were having amalgamation of various uh, languages one word from turkish one word from hindi one word from sanskrit one word from kannada one word from telugu so new language was emerging diverse perspective is was there so those language which were uh, understood by people remain still and those languages which were understood by 
एल एट इज नो मोर प्रेजेंट सो दैट इज हाउ एक्सेप्टेंस वॉट कल्चर इज वी हाउ टू नो एंड अंडरस्टैंड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी प्रिपेयर फ्यू प्रोग्राम्स रेडियो प्रोग्राम्स इन कनाडा और नॉर्थ कर्नाटका दोज बिकम बिकेम वेरी पॉपुलर बट कल्चरल कॉन्टेक्ट विद इन द स्टेट ऑल्सो आई एम टेलिंग यू when same program was uh, re uh, broadcasted from uh, southern india uh, southern karnataka they have got different uh, style of speaking kannada the language the dialect spoken in northern karnataka and southern karnataka is different so the students could not feel attached to those programs uh, content was same textbook based what uh, textbook based content was there those became popular in north karnataka when the same program sent was taught in southern karnataka the people could not relate to it because means small children as adult we can understand different dialects but for children what language is spoken at home that becomes prime importance the say for example in this context my uh, concern is about the children uh, of migrant population Uh, of north india who are working in kerala or goa a lot of construction workers are working in kerala and goa they speak uh, hindi uh, as uh, their language but locally those languages are not being taught in kerala because kerala becomes a uh, malayalam state uh, malayalam language is being taught tamil nadu tamil language is being taught are the children going to uh, accept those languages in childhood when their mother tongue is different that we need to think so pedagogy should be culturally relevant it is the best educational program uh, sup- uh, suppose we develop a best educational program in delhi in hindi will it uh, uh, will it address the local needs of karnataka people uh, that is my concern or telangana people will examples be appropriate what example you give for a delhiite like if you go on a road uh, you say that lal batti ke uh, uh, ulte hath mein le lena hai dekhna what is lal batti for uh, hyderabadi man uh, we do not understand we say signal or we say cross road so uh, the, the language spoken differs from place to place place continuous reflection and assessment has to happen so for example when we were learning we had some uh, where football match is being played and the characters narrated were joseph rahul rahim so we used to have a feeling that we all are one we all play together eat together so that kind of uh, understand has if you textbook reflex as a child it's a big thing what i am saying as an adult we all are uh, understand each other but for child to make him understand that he is a mainstream and he is good uh, as good as others that is most important perspectives in curriculum development cultural awareness cultural awareness has to happen uh, like building a culturally responsive pedag- uh, pedagogy uh, curriculum includes uh, if you are developing a curriculum you may include ramadan and diwali together in the curriculum festivals of india festivals of india must include all such the uh, uh, there is some culturally uh, different context say for example i was learning telugu so in the telugu uh, certificate program they asked us to write about a rich religious festival this religious festival should be uh, very broader in nature i uh, means the learner in his perspective what is his festival how he is celebrating he has to he can indicate and uh, see he is learning a language he is not learning a religion the both the objectives will be different if you are teaching a language you have to teach language how to articulate his ideas in that particular language if you are teaching about the religion you ask him religious questions both cannot uh, need not go together maybe the respondent may be celebrating the uh, holy or uh, he may be celebrating eid or bakreed so you give him choice to uh, write about some uh, religious festival Cult- uh, culturally uh, relevant curriculum 
says that implementing uh, culturally uh, uh, responsive pedagogy uh, the books mention professions like uh, if you are uh, writing book you remember that children are coming they are sons or daughters of farmers carpenters blacksmiths goldsmith potters sculptors all of them are not uh, children of government servants all of them are not children of uh, teachers so the textbook or the curriculum should have various so that all our uh, culture for of different people i is taken together then uh, continuing with the perspectives in the curriculum development multicultural education should be there see we should give education from one perspective uh, i'll uh, quote if time permits a uh, uh, very uh, nice poem written by javed akhtar uh, so why it tells that the multicultural uh, perspective should be there when you go to a uh, uh, garden you see different types of flowers you don't see one kind of flower one kind of flower gives you beauty uh, in from one perspective but if the flowers are of different kinds different variety is there then it gives more pleasure so multicultural education has to be there children residing multicultural education means one example is children are residing in slums or some huge bungalows so both kind of example should be given you just have a uh, th- uh, survey in your mind which kind of people are coming more in the classroom according to their level uh, of different languages and colors we have got uh, how many 22 official languages uh, 29 or 30 states and we have got uh, northeastern people who appear different south indian people appear different and we have got uh, uh, then uh, rajasthani people who appear very strong so different kind and different uh, type of people are there so based on that uh, the curriculum has to be developed is the white person superior to black i am asking in the context of america if you are talking uh, in indian context if we say that uh, people fairer than uh, uh, it's true see uh, shivam was our isro chief uh, who uh, launched chandrayaan was he fairer complexion person so he not uh, in the different uh, uh, thoughts and biases they create that is not good uh, so uh, our ca- culture um, our uh, curriculum should be such that it accommodates both can children bring details of people living in villages through uh, collaboration and partnership they can bring their thoughts uh, uh, from their villages building a community of learners you can build a community of learners from the students just as there are different types of people in the society there are also different type people so somebody is this somebody is intelligent somebody is very tall some is Uh, and students are their choices are different their thinking are is different their goal to learn is different uh, our school or our college is a genus is a society it is also a society society is very huge nation as a nation we are huge uh, 1.4 uh, 140 crore people but uh, our colleges or universities or schools are also a miniature society uh, where uh, children from different backgrounds are pre- present uh, in this context uh, it becomes very much important for us to know uh, what is culture culture encompasses beliefs values customs traditions and art uh, artifacts of a group of people uh, it encompasses all these things culture uh see i have given a picture here uh, there are people of different uh, uh, backgrounds they bring their own belief values customs traditions and artifacts and there are 
are they have group of people they, uh, this person may have group of people belonging into she will be having people uh, belonging to her culture i have taken this example from american culture similar thing can be uh, adopted in indian situation culture is uh, often defined as a way of life a way of life of group of people not to i it is my uh, philosophy or my uh, nature or my personality if people like me come together and a huge community uh, gets formed then that becomes culture uh, like osho had got so many followers they made their own culture similarly many people have got their own culture it encompasses knowledge belief values and practices that are passed down from generation to generation we teach about our religion to our people our language we teach to our people how we eat we teach to our children how we uh, speak also we teach to our children so we pass this culture from generation to generation but by doing so it, it is constantly evolving and changing stagnant this uh, thing uh, when we talk of hinduism a uh, uh, lot of argument is also there whether hinduism is a culture or a religion so uh, some of us also defined that hinduism hinduism is uh, uh, hinduism is defined by a few as a culture culture because it is passed from generation to generation when we want to look into what is culture we see that culture is made up of various concepts like belief values customs and uh, traditions artifacts and here i have given a picture covering various aspects language you speak becomes culture like uh, shayari in urdu is part of the culture ghazal singing is part of the culture how beautiful it looks if somebody uh, quotes couplets during interaction it, it becomes more academic communication the communication which we do uh, uh, like a priest communicates uh, yeah, at the platform all everybody sits and listen to him so that also becomes part of the culture courtesy is how you behave how you uh, react uh how you respect indian culture is famous for respecting their elders or the visitors who come to their houses we have got our rituals we follow what to do when to do how to do how gra nakshatra are affecting us so rituals we follow customs also we follow we maintain relationship recently somebody told me that you it is very difficult for you to meet your own relatives in england if you want to meet them you have to tell at least two weeks before that you are coming to them because nowadays life is so fast even most of us are so much involved in morning till day uh, evening if somebody nobody suddenly comes to your house it becomes difficult because things are scattered you are not prepared you are not wearing uh, very decent clothing at home uh, in the indian condition it is very common that we go to anybody's house any time and we welcome them but it is not so in other countries how we practice what we practice what are the expected behavior the in indian condition when elders come from outside our uh, children decently meet them welcome them give them water uh, uh, bow with respect so all these things are there but it is not common in western culture say for example if uh, i talk of one incidents which i have read most of the time i keep reading various things and it is scattered ideas which come to my mind uh, it is said that uh, in western uh, uh, culture uh, touching cheeks to cheeks uh, while greeting is common the same thing is not common in iran if you do so Uh, you, it will be taken as a very wrong doing in indian culture also it is not common so values uh, uh, thoughts thoughts also make your culture how you think uh, that is why you see um, uh, most of the time we come to know that uh, 
uh, we discussed this is a not a, a written word it's a oral discussion that from bihar either you will find the very highly educated person ias ips person or laborer so uh, there are both the extremes how much effort is paid made that much achievement is going to be there manners of interacting also makes our culture so our culture comprom- uh, comprises of all these aspects our uh, culture does not mean your religion alone it uh, culture encompasses various things that is why you might have seen that uh, a, a tamilian muslim may find close affection with, with his tamilian counterpart rather than other muslims uh, when a kerala person uh, kerala group is there uh, if a north indian and kerala person are going together if uh, kerala person finds another malayali uh, nearby he goes and mingles with him because they are consuming that their religion that is why bengali got from pakistan because bengali different than the pakistani urdu speaking culture so culture does not talk about lang- uh, religion alone this is various aspects and as a teacher you need to know their culture say uh, we are trying to uh, integrate a culturally responsive pedagogy in our day to day activities say for example this is a text i have extracted from ncert i do not remember the class from where i have extracted maybe fifth standard environment uh, science or post standard environmental studies uh, they are going in a train here the words amma and appa unni is written then tray about train it is talking ticket collector see these are the common things which child see around him and he will be able to understand when amma and appa is written in english the child is able to relate that i can talk english and and i can address mother and father as amma and appa i can say about my uh, uh, brother unni also i can write so i uh, generally travel by train this is how train he ticket collector comes so he, uh, he or she sees that the ticket collector is there so that is all our cultural aspects are reflected in the textbook ah uh, yeah so all these things are there then uh, here you see another context is given uh where food is also part of the culture how uh, they are children are asked to make list of breakfast lunch and dinner what children have a small kind of survey is suggested in the form of activity now it is the way of learning by doing or uh, what we called experiential learning based on the experiences children learn so they prepare list of breakfast lunch and dinner Uh, made by each of the child uh, so that what kind of food is being consumed in a particular locality can be understood so this is a good kind of reflecting your culture in your pedagogy experiences based on cultural identity uh, why it is uh, significant uh, babar became king after knowing the, the location of india and about india babar if he did not know about india if it is uh, does not know our uh, culture of india he would not have come to india so see uh, culture is very much important when he come uh, came to india he wrote about indian culture how the people uh, what they wear how they live in his book called tuske babari uh, so he has mentioned uh, see uh, there was a context when a brahmin teacher was posted in a tribal area tribal locality and that teacher learned local language dialect their culture everything and suddenly his transfer occurred to some other school the entire community started crying because that teacher is going so such affinity of culture the caste of both teacher and taught are different but when culture is understood so much closeness and proximity comes i remember of my times also when i was teaching most of my students were 
uh, were Hindus. So when Raksha Bandhan was there, they tied uh, Raksha to my entire hand from top to bottom. All the children came and uh, uh, tied Raksha. And that was such a pleasant thing to me that uh, I uh, had to, uh, generally I was going, I was a school teacher uh, very long ago in my car- career. So I went walking through uh, the streets, uh, through the main road to my house. In this pleasureful moment for me as well as my children who tied uh, Rakhi to me. So we need to understand each other. That is very much important. Expanding cultural awareness. The tribals are attached to their environment. So it's natural because they are in surrounding. Is it wrong? No, it is not wrong. So you have to make your t- teaching according to them. Is it understanding mother or uh, included as good values? But, uh, understanding mother earth when uh, in the context of global warming and uh, sitting and giving you a, a lecture, my AC is not working and it is sweating. So it's a, a different kind of uh, situation. Global warming during rainy season uh, also I am feeling. So don't we, uh, you think that understanding mother earth is important here? It is. Uh, cultural understanding, some, uh, I'm giving some experiences, inclusive and e- equitable environment. Uh, would we like to teach the majority curriculum? This is my question. Because uh, uh, we have all. Uh, my all. Uh, my perception is a vehicle will not move if one of the tire is punctured. Uh, so we need to fill air and keep the, all the tires of the vehicle up, updated. Front tires are important, they give us direction, but back tires are also important, they move along with us uh, so that the uh, progress vehicle will uh, go further. So uh, will uh, uh, my perception is majority, minority, uh, SC, ST, OBC, all parts uh, should be included. Should we, uh, should only one gender be mentioned in the uh, books? Uh, Kerala has taken a very good step. Now, earlier it was mother who was cooking and father who was going to office. Now, mother also, in new textbook, mother also goes to office. Father also wo- works in the kitchen. So, there is a change uh, in the situation. Should only one caste shown as intelligent uh, and other caste as uh, warriors? Uh, we speak, uh, when I also spoke that, I told that uh, Rajasthanis or Rajputs are warriors, they are very strong. So, such perception should not be created. It must be avoided. Meaningful connection. Do not dare the achievements of your ancestors. What uh, ancestors have done has gone now. Now, what you do, how you take your country ahead, that is more important. Should the child expand his knowledge of his home, his place, city, state, country to the world? You might have seen that uh, in the childhood, first, uh, the environmental science talks about pride, his body, head, hand, sense organs. Then it talks about his house, how many family members are there? Who are his neighbors and what are there in his neighborhood? The mountain is there, sun is there. So gradually content is taken to the entire society and the nation. It is not that suddenly you start teaching about America or UN or uh, World Bank. You have to gradually move. So this is how curricul- cultural uh, responsibility uh, pedagogy has to be there. Examples of uh, uh, cultural identities which I am giving is uh, language. Native language is different. Fluency in multiple uh, languages has to be there. Uh, That is why you might have seen that the National Education uh, Policy 2020 is speaking about three language formula and retention, prevention, uh, propagation of native languages. uh, It is uh, talking about. Religion also plays an important role. So cultural identity is there. 
that has to be uh, reflected in the curriculum but in an integrated manner nationality uh, is by birth uh, or for the citizen and indian nationality ethos and have to be reflected ethos and culture has to be reflected in the curriculum gender identity has to be is made but how gender identity for constructive purposes has, it has to be factors like background cultural experience and uh, access to resources have to be kept in mind while you are framing culturally responsive curricula personal uh, experiences like unique like uh, life experiences uh, my children are there who migrate from their home uh, parents go in the search of livelihood uh, somebody dies in the family trauma happens so there should be a place where teacher can attend to these things over we in earlier days we used to say that child is a blank slate tabula rasa he does not know anything whatever teacher wants he can teach him or uh, on a blank slate whatever teacher writes it becomes imprint it is not so nowadays i told about experiential learning and constructivist approach says that every child brings his own knowledge because they have they see their parents doing something their elder sisters siblings do something their friends also have got certain knowledge they are getting lot of knowledge from media so no child is blank slate now application in understanding student strength and background is very much important teaching they have got uh, children have got family members they have got their own language spoken at home they have got food uh, from which they get certain knowledge what food to be used what are the medicinal purposes or uses of the traditional holiday celebration also part of their uh, knowledge points of knowledge whether their parents were that also affects where the children view that also gives them knowledge and religion or value based education also gives them knowledge so uh, uh, funds of knowledge come so the children understand so many uh, things by recognizing and valuing the uh, knowledge and skills students bring with them their homes and community communities educators can promote academic achievement and create more inclusive learning environment and so you have to give example uh bsc class uh, there was a concept like catastrophe catastrophe was of the concept which our teacher wanted to explain in entropy uh, then he said he wrote catastrophe on the board and he wrote a marathi equivalent of that anarth then we bring our knowledge a language spoken on earth so we could bring uh, relate to that word catastrophe and on earth uh, not only that time till now i am able to recall when i am giving you an example at this stage so uh, if you relate the words with their local languages what they bring that uh, retention will be more uh, key elements of the funds of knowledge historical uh, historically accumulation is there cultural embeddedness uh, is there dynamic and evolving uh, it is uh, funds of knowledge is funds of knowledge means uh, it is not amount of fund it is knowledge fund which is there with the learner so all these thing come from historical accumulation cultural embeddedness dynamic evolving benefits are Uh, benefits of utilizing funds of knowledge for a teacher is value and student density if we know that in our class the students belong to uh, uh, say for example blacksmith community or goldsmith community a business community or a government servant children are there then we can value address that uh, and, de- and give them examples according to their same topic when i was teaching uh, for urdu teachers i was talking cultural response cultural 
the examples from from Urdu medium teachers context. When I am talking to you at the university level, I am giving different examples. So we can value their funds of knowledge and give examples. Encouraging student engagement can be uh, given. Uh, like I told you, few examples, experiential and constructive approach is there. So that can be utilized. Bridging the cultural gap. If you give examples, then the cultural gap, uh, most of the time what children face, that uh, will be covered. Informing culturally relevant pedagogy. Uh, uh, culturally relevant pedagogy can be used. Empowering students also, their achievement increases. I, some uh, funds of knowledge are giving examples here. Uh, for example, a mechanic child is here. A uh, student from a family of mechanics can bring their knowledge of equipments and problem solving skills to a science class on a simple machine. See, he is a mechanics child. Uh, he can bring his own funds of knowledge which can be used in the classroom. A student from a community with a rich storytelling tradition, yeah, here you see rich storytelling uh, tradition can share their knowledge of folk tales and storytelling techniques in art class. So that you can use that funds of knowledge what ch child is bringing can be utilized. A student from a family that practices traditional uh, crafts, uh, crafts can bring their skills in weaving or pottery to an art class. That you can utilize in the classroom. You can give some projects to them. A student from a family with a strong history of community organizing can share their knowledge of social justice and activism uh, in a social studies class. So this is one example of it. A student from multilingual family, uh, family can bring his fluency of several languages to a foreign language class. Uh, say for example, I have shown a board which contains uh, uh, different languages. A multilingual uh, family is there that can also be utilized. Cultural awareness and diversity in the classroom. We should be aware that the students belong to different cultures. Then only we can adjust our uh, teaching according to uh, assessment possible. That has to be integrated. Look for opportunities for cultural acquisition. His culture he has to share with her. Her culture she has to share with her. So cultural acquisition has to happen among the children. Build relationship with families and community members uh, such as PTMs can be organized. And we can understand if a child is coming late to the classroom or not studying at all, we can try to understand in parent-teacher meeting so that suggestions can be made. Integrate diverse perspectives in the, into the curriculum such as the cultures of minorities or SCSTs can be integrated. I have taken uh, available pictures from uh, the uh, World Wide Web, uh, Google. So these pictures are there. Diversity in the classroom. Provide strategies for creating an inclusive and equitable learning environment that can be created. Set high expectations for all students. It is possible if culturally responsive teaching is there and we know the culture. If we know that this girl is coming with hijab, then according to that only the teacher can give examples and that hijab should not become a barrier for her to get uh, uh, close to other people and play with them, uh, grow with them. So that has to be taken care of. Uh, use culturally relevant teaching can be uh, done. Promote a safe and supportive classroom. If you know, this child is black, we should not neglect that child because he or she is black. Uh, we should uh, provide supporting classroom environment. Uh, uh, if there is any discrimination among the children or the teacher discriminates with the children, then it becomes difficult. So uh, discrimination has to be and biases have to be avoided. Uh, if this is the situation, uh, I was talking about culture, culturally responsive pedagogy and culturally responsive uh, curriculum. Now let me talk about uh, curriculum construction. You know that cu curriculum construction ha 
he is done based on certain principles in my mind uh, a principle certain principles in our mind uh, it is not that suddenly the curriculum is designed principle of harmony cultural context should be given which are harmonious it curriculum uh, we should not teach see as an author one person may write uh, uh, any book from his perspective he may say good or bad about some other community but as a curriculum developer you should develop a harmonious approach community centeredness our community contains of so many diverse elements so our community curriculum should be according to those uh, communi- uh, community and uh, nobody should feel neglected or isolated principle of activity centeredness our curriculum should be such that uh, activities should be given prime importance so that uh, practical works are there and the child learns according to that principles of developing democratic values uh, in india the beauty of india is that anybody can go rise up to the highest level you see our prime minister of india uh, he has belongs to a particular community and now he has risen and uh, he has become prime minister and uh, he look at his background and uh, his achievement so anybody can rise this is the developing of democratic values so there is a scope for every individual to rise and go to the topmost position and if you see this example in uh, with the countries like north korea can anybody think of becoming their president it is a question mark uh, to be answered by you. Uh, principles of utility what children are learning yesterday i was te- uh, speaking to my daughter that we learned about various concepts of mathematics like we learned about topology is topology useful or in, in our day to day life we are not making use as a teacher educator or the or as a resource person in various platforms i am not able to relate to why topology i have learned and what it is because now i am working in a different area maybe if i was working in mathematics and in that particular area i might have used that so principle of utility our curriculum should be such that it should be useful in the society principles of creativity uh, it is not that uh, the entire science is developed by western world Indians have given a lot to uh, the entire world presently the uh, 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 what is that uh, computer technology information communication technology then uh, cyber space is preoccupied uh, with uh, by many indians principle of creativity creativity has to be developed a uh, principle of preservation of culture national education policy talks a lot about principle of preservation of culture our culture has to be pre- uh, uh, preserved and uh, shared with the next generation principle of child centeredness our curriculum should be developed in such a way that child's activity is given more importance principle of integration now national education policy says that any credit can be earned uh, from any discipline so it is a interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary approach so principles of integration at a particular level how many credits uh, credits are to be earned and how the child is going to earn this is not compartmentalized like science arts or commerce anybody can learn anything so integration is important principle of totality of experience not only the academic values have to be uh, developed but other values have to be uh, addressed variety should be there only um, uh, uh, only one kind of experience should not be there flexibility few things can be achieved now few things can be achieved later so that facility has to be there building a culturally responsive uh, curriculum uh, i think uh, i have got a few more minutes uh, culturally awareness and understanding has to be there uh, if you are want to develop a curriculum Uh, that is why i said that uh, at national level they prescribe curriculum and they tell that you can take this as the building block and you can uh, modify and give some additional look at the state level 
so culturally awareness uh, uh, that cultural awareness and understanding component is uh, put into that integration of diverse perspective is possible uh, a diverse perspective has to be there uh, in the first say for example uh, when you are teaching a language you can give how doctor talks how a politician speaks how a comedian talks if the dialogues are given different uh, contexts are given so that we can understand their culture and uh, uh, relate to them culturally relevant content and materials are to be given uh, i have told you uh, that children belong to the various cultures so according to that maybe mechanic maybe barber maybe uh, maybe other uh, uh, small works so such examples also should be included culturally responsive pedagogy has to be adopted in the classroom so that the performance increases higher expectations will be possible only through that continuously we have to keep on thinking about these things then only uh, the improvement is going to be there okay. uh, there are various things i have written, uh, written a couple let here so let me uh, read uh, the text of it I hope you will understand. गुलसिता में कहीं भी फूल एक रंगी नहीं होते गुलसिता में कहीं भी फूल एक रंगी नहीं होते मीन्स देर आर नो यूनिफॉर्मिटी इन फ्लावर्स इन दिस वन गार्डन कभी हो ही नहीं सकते गुलसिता में कहीं भी फूल एक रंगी नहीं होते कभी हो ही नहीं सकते कि हर एक रंग में छुप कर बहुत से रंग रहते हैं जिन्होंने बाग एक रंगी बनाना चाहे थे जिन्होंने बाग एक रंगी बनाना चाहे थे तो उनको जरा देखो कि जब एक रंग में सौ रंग जाहिर हो गए हैं तो कितने परेशान कितने तंग रहते हैं सी बढ़िया सर एक नंबर सर इज इट द टाइम टू क्लोज एंड इंटरेक्ट वी कैन गो फॉर इंटरेक्शन because the role of a teacher to address different cultures and contexts of children at uh, which level you are teaching i am teaching hindi literature so how is your curriculum madam what do you teach do you keep in mind that the, uh, children belong to different culture yeah yeah they are from different culture hindi hindi speaking belt is many many culture na no? like they are from rajasthan also they are from madhya pradesh they are from delhi they are from up and they are from bihar and uh, uh, in delhi mixed culture is also there people are uh, from different culture per born and brought up in delhi so that kind of students are also there okay What kind of examples do you incorporate so that others' culture also also taken care? Yeah, I have a strategy of uh, multilingual and multiliteral Indian literature concept. I apply in the classroom. Like, I never give an example only from uh, uh, Hindi literature, uh, from various Bhakti tradition also, in like from all over the country. Uh, and sufi tradition and uh, um, of course the when jab main language padhati hu to like alag alag bhashaon mein kaise alag alag connotations hote hain aur culturally bond hote hain jaise rajasthan ka ek udaharan main dungi ki rajasthan mein pata nahi agar rajasthan ke koi participant hai to unse pehle hi main maafi mang leti hu ki agar main koi daava nahi kar rahi hu par jaise hi wahan ka ek प्रोवर्ब है कि खसम मर जाए लेकिन गगरिया ना टूटे तो दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट राजस्थान एक मरुस्थल है वहां पे पानी इतना इतना प्रेसियस चीज है कि पानी को जीवन से भी महत्वपूर्ण माना गया है कि अगर कोई कोई 
किसी का काम थोड़ी देर नहीं करो मतलब हस्बैंड इट इज लेस इम्पोर्टेंट देन वॉटर तो वो एक कल्चरल कॉन्टेक्स से आता है तो उसी तरीके से जब इस तरह के कल्चरल कॉन्टेक्स हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं और साहित्य भी इस्तेमाल करते हैं तो वो रूटेड uh, फील करते हैं एंड उनको एट होम फील होता है इंग्लिश बिकॉजरस्टैंड हिंदी मच सो इट इज माई फोकस एरिया दैट आई शुड नॉट switch to hindi when the students of south or maybe of different community are sitting so i make sure and also i do not make any statement which can you know which can hurt the sentiment of other cultural people so i have to be very cautious in my uh, teaching methodology that whatever uh, whatever the examples or whatever things i am conveying to the student that should not hurt the sentiment also everyone sitting in the class should feel that they are being considered when any topic is being taught so th- these are the various um, strategies i i follow and also i try to quote examples of different different cultures as ma'am have already mentioned that if the student i i teach an example related to maybe west bengal related to assam because there are so many students from uh, uh, assam madam, i have a question han ji sir i have a question uh, see you are teaching management most of them may be from business background some of them may not be from business background what examples do you give so i t- i take a layman type language uh, layman examples so so i not teach management from the context of industry i teach is from the management from, from the real life because management is something which is pervasive it is present at all the spheres of life so i give them example how your uh, mother manages your household chores how your how you manage your how you organize your wardrobe so all these are the example which are very much pre- prevalent in our day to day and we we can relate it to the management so from so this is how i try to incorporate my classes with example which are very much prevalent in all the spheres of life am i audible any other subject teacher is there any other teacher different subject i cannot name anybody but you can come forward uh, anybody from science anybody from But science or sir, anybody I from education geography. yes ma'am geography uh, is culture important while teaching geography what aspects do you take care uh sir while teaching geography definitely it deals with the interrelationship between man and environment so definitely when we are teaching theories or uh, different kinds of uh, theoretical aspect we definitely bring into because we have in our curriculum the religion and linguistic classification of india so that we teach and when we go to the field surveys outside uh, our uh, kolkata then we obviously we take into account two aspects one is language and another is obviously the religion because we have to go into the tribal areas of uh you know the darjeeling jalpaiguri all these regions where we definitely interact with the tribal people who have a different socio economic backgrounds so that way cultural <laughs> diversity is very much are incorporated in our subject as well that's great to know ma'am any other subject teacher is there one or two we can take observations anybody from education education since i belong to education i have given plenty of examples from education i have talked about curriculum curriculum development uh, school uh, curriculum and various examples language yes, perspective sir. also yes, i have covered yes, i think uh, i hope uh, i could reach you all uh, yes, i thank uh, the organizers for giving me an opportunity uh, thank you organizers 
मुझे ये रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मिली है कि मैं आपका धन्यवाद ज्ञापन करूं तो सबसे पहले तो बहुत सुंदर सा, बहुत सारे कॉन्सेप्ट्स वी लर्न लॉर्ड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम योर प्रेजेंटेशन रिगार्डिंग कल्चरल रिस्पॉन्सिबल रिस्पॉन्सिव करिकुलम एंड स्पेशली नॉलेज फंड एंड ऑल दैट एंड ऑफ कोर्स हाउ इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग कल्चर इज इट सेल्फ ए डेमोक्रेटिक थिंग एंड चाइल्ड सेंट्रिक थिंग एंड वाट आर द theories of ideal pedagogy is there in that when we uh, um, uh, when we use the culture as a very important tool of imparting uh, uh, knowledge or uh, in uh, giving and taking uh, in the learning process and the most beautiful thing is that you ended with javed akhtar um, uh, poem beautiful poem regarding the diversity and uh, same time unity in the diversity and um, uh, because i am from i am a student of literature since in 16 days we are talking a lot on the in uh, about languages but not a single piece on the literature so i was when you you are reciting you were reciting the uh, javed akhtar poem I, i was really really very happy about it ki oh samras has come now <laughs> at the end of the session so thank you very much from all of us from the organizer the mmtu uh, and imtu uh, it's a really beautiful experience uh, to learning with you and hopefully you we will meet some some on some other platform and learn together some more beautiful concepts uh, thank you heartfelt gratitude and lots of best wishes from from all of us and from organization or organizer also thank you very much thank you it was pleasure to be with you and thank the organizers for the opportunity thank you